Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Latoya and I would love to have you be a part of my ever-growing band of misfit toys. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a collective haul. It's been a while for a haul. I haven't bought makeup in a while because I've been just pretty much uninspired. I have Ulta, Sephora, Fenty, and I think that is it. So if you'd like to see what I picked up, then please keep watching. We've got a bunch of stuff here. Um, I took out most of the stuff from the packaging so that this wouldn't take a hundred years. Um, where should I start now? I guess I'll start with Sephora. So I got this by Pharmacy. Can you see that? Oh, that's really bright. It's a three pack of their um, Melt Away Cleansing Balm, which I love. I thought it was full size versions, like their regular big one, but it isn't. Um, so three of them for $42, which was a $66 value. Let me just show you them right here. There is three in this little thing here and they're each 50 mils or 1.7 fluid ounces. So that's not bad. You have strawberry basil, which of course has a nice pinky color. Can you see that? I can smell the basil and the strawberry. Okay, that's, you know what, it's, I've gotten used to their regular, like, echinacea um, one, so that's a little bit much. The next one is lemon mint. Oh, I like the lemon in that. Can't really smell the mint. I'm not a fan of mint. It's just, it's not, ooh, and in the bottom, there is a spatula so that you can take it out instead of going right in with your hands, so that is a good addition. And then finally, we have Peach Thyme. Who came up with these concoctions? That's pretty good. I like the smell of that. I smell more peach than I do the thyme. Uh, yeah, so I'm happy for that because I always need a pre-cleanser like this before I go in with my main um cleanser for my face so this is a good set to get I think this is part of holiday I'm not sure next up I got a primer by um, Tarte I don't usually purchase from Tarte but I am running out of my much loved Becca primer that I don't know if it's going to come back with their new collaboration with Smashbox so I got this primer by Tarte it is the mattifying primer Poreless Mattifying Primer. I'm wearing it right now. Um, feels like it's doing the job. I'm wearing it in here. I didn't put too much on because I wasn't sure of it. And it has a silicone -y feel, which I'm unsure of as well. So we'll see how that goes. New in from Glowish. I actually like the packaging of this. I got the new Glowish Luminous Pressed Powder. I got the shade Tan 10 Deep Tan. I used this as well today. That's the shade. Sorry about the lighting if it's going in and out. Um, yeah, and I think it's really good. So I'm happy about that purchase. Next from Sephora, I got one of Mario's new lipsticks. I hate this damn white packaging, honestly. I get it, but I, I don't like it. This is in the shade Sam. Wearing it right now. Um... This is a really, really matte lipstick, but super comfortable. I don't know how to necessarily explain that, but I'm gonna swatch it right here so that you can see it. I wanted to go with a nude because I was just unsure of what the formula and texture was gonna be like. So can you see that? It kind of looks pinky, but it's more like beigey nude in my opinion. I, I really love this. I can't wait to get more colors. I'm super excited for this lipstick. It feels so great on my lips, but it's like super matte. It's not transfer proof, which I don't expect to be because it's a bullet lipstick, but it stays put. You know what I mean? So uh, next up from Huda Beauty. I didn't take this one out of the packaging. I didn't realize this is also, this is, this is also for stuff. I got her caramel brown, um, like 
Obsession palette. I love the um, print on here, that animal print. And really pretty colors. Look at those colors. Really nice. I'm glad I got this one. I thought I got the chalk. Oh no, you know what? This deepening shade right here, I thought it was matte, but it's shimmery. What are we gonna do about that? I don't know. We'll see if we can make it work. If we can't, we can't. And, oh, also from Sephora, I got these. I thought they were gonna be so much smaller. They are Reusable Cleansing Mitt Set. It's a five-piece set. A cleaning mitt set provides a more sustainable approach to your cleansing routine. I'm very excited for this because you can put your hand in this. So this is what I've been missing from the makeup eraser and all of that. Um, yeah, I can't wait to just get in there and get my makeup on. I'm super excited for that. They're super soft and they were only like $12 for this pack of five, which, you know, is unheard of specifically for these types of products. And finally from Sephora, I got this palette right here by Pat McGrath. It is the Pat McGrath Labs Divine Blush and glow trio amber allure so it has the love struck um blush the paris venus blush which i have the full size of and venus nectar oh wait i think venus nectar is a blush paradise venus is a blush and then love struck is the highlighter if not i'm not mistaken i don't know if this highlighter comes in like a full size if it's in the regular range i have quite a bit from her but i don't think that this might be new but the blushes i think are um in her regular line i definitely know the one in the middle paradise venus is in her regular line so oops those are the shades right there i love this one in the middle i'm going to swatch them so that you can see so this right here that's really like is Venus Nectar. And then my fave, Paradise Venus. It's like a terracotta type of color. And now let's look at this highlighter. I'm super excited because oh, it's so smooth. Oh, oh my God. There's two shades in this blush palette, a lighter one and then a darker one look at that highlighter it is so smooth and buttery and it's like kind of like a duochrome as well i just want to put this all over my face i'm going to i think at the end of this video maybe we will put on a little bit of the highlighter let's put it on right now oh my god we're so excited all right i gotta find a clean brush all right I'm kind of scared. I don't want to mess up my look. I'm going to tap it off. Ooh, do you see that? <gasps> yes. Mm hmm. This is so smooth and buttery. You can tell it's really finely milled. Look at that compared to here. Yes, I'm here for it. Wow. And it doesn't look like a streak on my face which I find looking back on old pictures, that's exactly what I was doing to myself. Like putting like a streak of blush, a streak of contour or a bronzer and a streak of highlighter on top, which looked pretty wild. But back then that was, that was the look, I think. We didn't know what the hell we were doing, did we? And I'm just adding more and more, but I literally can't help it. Love it. Let's put a little bit here. 
Oh, that's really pretty. And the tone is really nice, too. It's not icy, which is great. Guys, are you 80s, 90 kids? Do you know Dunkaroos are back and they are hitting the way that they used to hit when we were kids? So excited for that. I know it's really random, but all right, let's get back into this haul. Is that everything I got from Sephora? Yes. Okay, so I got a couple of things from Ulta. Um, one of them is this Juvia's Place Eye Prep and Eye Prime Primer. That's what I've been using here lately. I have the number one, the number two, and the number three, but I um, repurchased the number two because I find that's the best shade for me to get eyeshadows to resemble um, what they look like in the pan, especially if it's like a brighter look or something like that. One is a little bit too stark for me. I don't think I, no, I don't think that's for me, but I love this formula. It's amazing. If you've heard of like the P. Louise base or whatever, this is just as good, if not better, cheaper and more readily available here in America. And next I got one of my favorite foundations. This has been holding me down most of the summer. It is the Zoeva Authentique Skin Natural Luminous Foundation. I'm in the shade Magical 340W. These are heavily discounted. I think they're like $15 now or something like that. So I got two of them, two backups for, because I don't know what's going on. I don't know if they're getting rid of it, but I hope not, so I'm stocked just in case. I forgot that I had more from Sephora as well. I got the new Natasha Denona Retro Palette. I mean, I have most of her palettes, and I love her formula, so that's why I got it, but I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it because I have shades like these, and I just... It's good to have shades in one place, don't get me wrong. Like, it works better in my brain if they're, like, all together and I can have a color story instead of, like, all of these shades that are kind of, like, mix-matched. Um, but I don't know. We will see. We will play with it and we will see. I, I love the color story, though. I really... I think I'm going to keep it. Who am I, ki who am I kidding? I think I'm going to keep it. Also from Rare Beauty, I got another one of their blushes. This is in the shade Nearly Apricot. It's a cream blush. Look at this oh, packaging. Isn't this so cute? My lighting is so off. I'm so sorry, guys. But it's kind of like kitty packaging, but with, you know, an adult twist. I'm going to swatch this blush. It's a cream to powder finish and I'm here for it because it feels so so nice I'm building up enough just so that you can see it look at that how gorgeous is that love that color yes yes all right one last thing oh no that's no one last thing from Sephora it is this brow product by Huda Beauty. It is the Bomb Brows Full and Fluffy. I got it in the shade Rich Brown like I have in her micro pencil. So this is what it looks like. And it is the tiniest little... Whoa. Does it have fibers on it? I think that might be it. It's the tiniest little brush you ever did see. Wild. Um... I really like it. Um, I just run a little bit through my brows. I did not use this today, but that's neither here nor there. Now we're going to get on to the Fenty stuff. This really makes me question what's in the large bottle of foundation. So this is the regular Fenty foundation, full size, um, 32 mils, 1.08 fluid ounces. This is two mils more than an average foundation. And this is the new one that they came out with that is a travel size. This is 15 mils. Oh, no, not even. It's 12 mils, so a little less than half of this. So this bottle is literally the big one. Just an illusion because look at almost half of it here. So I don't know if I'm going to keep this. I, I, I do think that I'm going to send this back because I think for the money, I, I'm not here for it. And then I got two of their concealers um, because mine dried out because I, 
I got the original concealers when they came out a million years ago, four years ago or something like that. So I got 410 and 385. I'm not going to open them right now because I have a bunch of concealers that I got kicking around here that I'm using. I also got another one of the Almond Butter. This is a repurchase, uh, Bright Fix Eye Brightener, and this is it right here. I am not finished with the one that I have yet, but I am almost finished with it, so that's why I repurchased this. And finally, I got the Cream Bronzer in the shade Chocolate, the Cheeks Out Bronzer. Um, I had originally gotten Teddy, and Teddy was just not dark enough for me, and I think Chocolate is going to be the shade for me. Let me just show you here. I don't know. The color is kind of strange. It doesn't give me bronzing vibes. It gives me, I don't know, maybe it looks, it looks better in the camera, but in front of my face, it looks very much like muddy. I'm going to try it out. We're going to see with this purchase. Um, I got this free pro kisser lip care thing. So it's the scrub stick and the luscious balm. I don't like the balm and many versions of them on top of that. And I'm not here or there about um, scrubs for my lips. And it's just like, whatever. So this is it right here. Oh my God, this is so blown out. Oh wait, this is it right here. Um, yeah, I might give this away. I'm not sure, but it's not for me. It might be for someone else though. Oh my God, I totally forgot that I got a couple of things from Be Perfect. This came out quite some time ago in August. And um, yeah, I haven't had a chance to show it because I've been in the funk and I haven't been filming. And you'll hear about that in a previous video, I'm sure. I got the Stacey Marie and Be Perfect Carnival for the Antidote palette. And it is an absolute dream. She really kills it with every palette that she comes out with. One of my shades came broken. I was really upset about that. And the shipping, I was not impressed with the shipping, but these are the shades. So we have green color story, a berry color story, and some fall colors. They're just really great. I'm actually wearing this palette on my eyes right now. I love it. Um, as you can see, it's very well loved and used. And uh, she also came out with these um, liquid shadows. I got the shade Brass. Let me show you what that looks like. How pretty is that? It's like the Milani ones. Milani do shadows like this. I'm sure a whole bunch of people do shadows like this, but I wanted to get one from her and yeah, that is it for this haul. If you enjoyed it, please give me a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you're interested in seeing here in the haul that I just did. Did you pick up any things recently? What have you been interested in? Are you inspired by makeup right now? Because for a while I hadn't been, um, but I've gotten it back and I'm really excited. Uh, a lot of you are not subscribed to my channel and it makes me sad because you keep coming back and watching and I should think that means that you like me so why can't you just you know give me a subscribe give me a like a thumbs up the subscribe button is right down there while you're down there you can click the notification bell make sure that it's on all so that you'll be notified when I upload my next video and I'll see you guys in the next one bye